What's up everybody and welcome to part 2 of the Mage's Tale Puzzles Guide here on CR95 Games. So for our first one it's a ring neck trap. Pick up that statue there, ring neck. Go up here and once you're holding that statue, these ones will let you through without killing you. For this ring neck trap, all you gotta do is keep your eyes on the floor. So just look at the ground. Here we're going to pick up the crystal ball and teleport across the tiles on the floor that are lit up. Here we're going to see some runes on the wall right beside a door. So turn around and if you don't travel the exact same path back across, then you're going to get hit by some darts, which I skipped some runes, and that's why the darts started attracting me, uh, attacking me. So for our first one now, we're going to step on this one that looks like an eye, and then the L with the dot to the left, the L with the dot to the right, and then we're going to go ahead and step on the next eye, and then this other simple thing, <laughs> and then we're going to step on the G, and that's going to open the door. Another ring neck trap, just look up and keep your eyes on ring neck and keep walking. Everything will appear under your feet for you and if you can get past all three of these traps in one go without taking damage, you'll also unlock a trophy. So for this one, pick up the crystal ball over to your right, and then there are going to be some runes on each one of these corner pillars, and what you're going to want to do is have all the runes that are lit up on the inside, so you're going to want them all like that, right there, pointing down the railings. And once you've done that with all three of the ones that you can actually move, that's going to open up a gate right over there on the other side of that wall. Made.
collection of books. And every one of them overdue. It's a ring deck to use powerful magic.
What waits before only one more? So here you just have to find the four pages and put them in their place and then find the head, the arm, and the leg for the corpse, put them in their places, and light all the candles, then ring the bell. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. This will also unlock a trophy once you complete this puzzle and then the 99 berserkers will come out, defeat them, and there's your trophy. the doom phenomenal arrangement go on give it a whirl or a hurl yes a whirling hurl I've heard of someone having their heart in their mouth, but this is taking the metaphor a bit far. So for the rest of this puzzle, you just gotta go grab all of the three other orbs that were leading up to this room and put them on top of their corresponding pillars and then they'll float up in the air and you'll free this final fairy.
Ta-ta! All you have to do with the levers here is just move them all in the middle, like that first one is right there. Before the flag comes the flame. Before the flame comes the Make sure you don't use any other spell besides the wind spell there so you don't kill that fairy. And for this puzzle, all you want to do is turn the runes that are lit up towards their corresponding torches or whatever you want to call the things that are lit up over there. Just do that with all four of them and you're good to go. Alright guys, that's it for all the puzzles in the Mage's Tale, part 1 and part 2. I really hope I was able to help you with all these solutions and you were able to get through the Mage's Tale. If you're still missing some trophies or you still need some collectibles, then I have guides up for both of those on the channel. Go ahead and check those out. I hope I'm able to help you get your platinum as well. Please, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one.